Welcome back my children to another Mortal Kombat X video. I will be doing the classic Sonyan Blade Challenge and normal difficulty. I've done stages 1 through 4. And for the 5th stage, you must have Kano on your team. So any Kano. And they are all Outworld, I believe. Yeah, they are all Outworld characters. So I filtered to Outworld. And I have... Three, um, I know I have more, four, and yeah, I got four. So I'm going to use the original Kano first, along with, he's level 41, so I'm going to use him with, um, Devora, I guess. The original Devora, and then a character to attack with. Let me see. I'll use um. um not quite sure. I guess I'll use Dark Lord Kotokan. I'll give him the equipment. These three. All right, and I'm going to start. So yeah, anyways. First match. There's 15 matches in total. And yeah. So, um, classic Sonyan Blade, I have her at rank 7, I believe. So, with the Elder difficulty, once I get... I defeat all three difficulties, basically she will be rank 9 wait I think she's 6 not 7 she's rank 6 she'll go after this difficulty she'll go up 1 rank so that's going to be 7 then 8 and then 9 yes because I already had done the math and she's going to go up to 3 ranks meaning she's going to be rank 9 because I have her at 6 at the moment. So that's great. I'm glad I'm very close to ma getting her to rank X. Because she's one of my favorite characters in the game. And as and for sure she's my favorite classic. I mean not classic. My favorite Sonyan blade out of all the Sonyan blades in the game. And yeah I think I would say also from the classic types. She's my favorite as well. But then again, Classic Jade is mm, like right there with her because they're both very cool looking. Not sure. But anyways, I defeated all three matches with these three. Now I'm going to switch. So now I'm going to use, let's see, Commando Kano. And I'll use him along with Sun God Kotokan and Blood God Kotokan. Sounds good. Alright, I'm going to give him the equipment. There. So I'm going to start. So the matches are obviously pretty easy. Or actually very easy especially for me since my characters are pretty strong oh great he stuns you as soon as he tags in there he's defeated and so is he very easy match all right next match I see there's a, the modifier vampires, they basically drain your life, that's the modifier vampires, nice, one defeated, two defeated, and three, very cool. Alright, 15 souls, nice. 
and the next match. After this, I'm gonna switch the characters around once again. Right, good thing is that stun double Johnny Cage is the first, so he does not tag in and stun you, so that's great. He doesn't get the chance to basically, since he's already starting the match. Alright, all three defeated, and now I have to switch my characters around. So now I'm going to use Classic Kano with Classic Melina and Classic Ermac. All three classic characters. Oh, now, now that I think about it, Classic Melina is also like one of my favorite classic type characters. Along with Sonya and Blade and Jade. But yeah, they're, the three of them are very cool. I like them. But like battling wise, the way uh Sonya and Blade has her moves as the classic type, I think I prefer those moves better. Especially the first special, the one that attacks at all the opponents. A very cool special that she has. Which is the reason why I'm happy to that the uh, classic Sonya and Blade challenge came out. She's gonna be much more powerful now. There are two defeated, and now for Aaron Black, ninety-six percent, and they are all defeated. All right, last match with these three, and then I'm gonna switch to the last Kano, which is Black Dragon Kano, who is very powerful since he's a diamond character and I have him at rank IX, basically number nine, rank nine, 97%, and now for Johnny Cage. He got defeated. Alright. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to Black Dragon Kano. And um, let's see, who do I wanna use with him? Cold War Sonya and Blade. I mean, Scarlet. There's a Cold War Sonya and Blade, that's why I confused it with her. But this is the other Cold War character, which is Scarlet. Anyways, um, who else do I want to use? I guess I'll use Spectral Ermac with him. Alright, with him, I could give him four equipment, which is great. I'll give him the revolvers so that he could do unblockable basic attacks, which I really, really like. Alright, Kano versus Kano. Who's the better Kano? Obviously, my Kano is better. There, he got defeated. He got reanimated because of Quan Chi. Alright, two down, one to go. What the heck? Just came out of nowhere. Um, I don't know what happened, but okay. Oh great, it's gonna take a while for him to get defeated because, oh, random tagging, I think that's what it is, but regardless, I won, so that's great, I mean, obviously I was gonna win, 20 souls, if I lost to those three, especially having Black Dragon Kano, that would be a, the biggest embarrassment in the game. But anyways, especially since it's normal difficulty. Alright, one defeated. Two defeated. Now for Liu Kang. There. All three defeated. 
since I only have four canos, I will have to use one soul to recharge the Kano for the last three matches, which is going to be this Kano, of course. I'm going to recharge his energy with one soul after this. 84%, he got defeated. Okay, she attacked. Barely did any damage. And she got defeated. All three of them. There, okay, now I'm gonna be using, along with him, my new character, Classic Jade, who I finally got and was unexpected. I did not expect to get her in the quest mode. But, anyways, um, should I use her and Pharaoh Ermac or somebody else? Um, yeah, so those three, recharge and I'm gonna start. So classic Jade should be able to level up like, up to like level five or so, I believe. Or maybe not, because this is the normal difficulty, so it doesn't give that much of experience. But she is level five, I mean level one, so it's possible I believe we'll see after this there I know for sure she's gonna level up oh I didn't see properly oh she went up level six oh, okay so it does give a good amount of experience especially for level one characters very cool all right he is defeated. Damn it. So is he. And Kotal Khan. Defeated. All three. I had the feeling of sneezing, but I stopped it. I'll sneeze later. Cool, she went up to level 8. I'm gonna level up her special 2. Come on. There, I maxed it. Awesome. Just in case. Anyways, now is the last match. Boss Classic Sonya and Blade. She is level 40 and rank 1. She has a high HP, but it's not gonna matter. I'm gonna defeat her anyways. Very easily, I might add. I'll just use my first special. 88% okay she's not defeated yet she crippled me again no matter how many times she cripples me I'm still gonna win because she's weak there a very easy match and I got her so yeah she's rank 6 and now she's gonna be rank 7 Nice, and I got 50 souls. Very cool. And there I completed the normal difficulty. And the next difficulty is the hard difficulty. So I will have to do the stages and then come back to the boss. But let's take a look at this classic Sonya and Blade. First I want to check classic uh, Jade. Yeah, she's level 10 now. I gotta wait for her to be level 20 to get her x-ray. But anyways, um, unfilter. Damn it, didn't mean to do that. Where is she? Classic Sonya and Blade. There she is. She's much more powerful now. She's awesome. I love her. So her special one, which is my favorite, that uh, attacks all the opponents. Her special 2 and her x-ray. Then her ability. So their special attack 1 deals damage to the entire enemy team and breaks their shield. And uh, yeah, she's very cool. 
than her stats, attack, health, recovery, toughness, and power generation. Then her uh, supports. And yeah, also I have her equipment maxed. So yeah, she's very cool. My favorite Sonyan blade for sure. But anyways, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next Mortal Kombat X video.